Brightspace has a powerful rubrics tool that you can use to assess all sorts of student submissions. What's more, these can also be used in conjunction with the assignments folders and the gradebook to make grading more efficient and reliable. This tutorial will demonstrate how to create an analytic rubric in Brightspace. As you're aware, the task of creating a rubric can be onerous. You must consider the various criteria you will use as well as to determine what distinguishes the various levels of achievement for each of them. This takes a while and is in fact the biggest challenge. That's not the purpose of this tutorial though. Let's start with a rubric that has already been developed in paper form so as to focus on the task at hand, which is to translate it into a form that can be used in Brightspace. This one is for evaluating a Powtoon learning object and has five different sets of criteria and each one has three different levels. I will use copy and paste to get the information into Brightspace so I can concentrate on how you do yours. This is how I recommend you start as well. Prepare your rubric in a table and then paste it cell by cell into Brightspace. Notice that all the criteria here are worth different amounts and that each category varies as well. By default, they are the same, but since you may need to have them different, let's go that route. If yours are all the same, then it will simply save you a few steps. Let's return to Brightspace and start the process. We are at the course homepage. I'll click Assessment and choose Rubrics. And now select New Rubric. We will do all of the work from this page. Notice that there are cells in which to enter a title, information for the various criteria, as well as the various levels of achievement. There's even space where you can add automated feedback, but I will leave that blank for this tutorial. You may choose to add it when you create your own. I will type a title. And next, I will change the setting so that I can enter different values for each criterion and level. I will click Scoring to access the drop-down. I need to change it to Custom Points so that the values can be edited. Now that the scoring is set to Custom Points, these values can be changed as I go. You may recall that the paper-based rubric I showed you had three levels, whereas this one has four. I need to delete one level. To do this, I will click the trash can here. And I confirm my choice. Now, I will start filling in the criteria and descriptions for the various levels using cut and paste. I will go to the Word document. I select the description of the first criterion and copy it using Control c That's Command-C on a Mac. And I return to Brightspace and we'll paste it right here using Control v or Command-V. And there it is. Now I will copy the information for the highest level of this criterion and take note that it's supposed to be worth 5 points. Back to Brightspace where I will first edit the value. 
and then paste the information. Now I go back and forth between the word processor and Brightspace to copy paste the next few levels and to edit the values. I will omit that part to save time. There, that's the first criterion done. I will do the same for the second criterion. And that's the second set, copy pasted in one cell at a time and the values edited. And now for the third criterion. And there's the information all pasted in for the third criterion and the values have been edited. You may have noticed that there are two criteria left on the paper-based rubric, but we have run out of space here. I will click here to add another row to the table to make room for the next set. And there it is, all ready for edits. Once again, I will do this through cut and paste one cell at a time and as before I will do that offline to save time. There. That one is done and once again I click here to add the last criterion. And I will quickly cut and paste the information from the Word document. And now it's done. Notice that I can set achievement levels based on the rubric score. There are already values assigned to the different levels, but I can change them. For example, I will change level 4 from 11 to 12 points. And set level 3 at 10 points. I will change level 3 to 6 points and leave level 1 at 0. You are free to use whatever values you wish. You can add or remove levels by either clicking on the plus sign or the trash can. That's it. The rubric is now ready for use. I click close to finish up. And there it is. You can see the rubric has been added to the list. You can assign rubrics to assignments and other items in your course, and we will cover that in another tutorial.